the landscaper, yeah. the weed picker, <laughs> the planter, and then of course I have amazing help. Taking the farm and adding the venue with a view. Welcome to Pocono Mountains Podcast, everyone. I'm your host, Jim Hamill. This is season four, episode 20. Wedding bells are in the air as we transition to the fall months here in the Poconos. Fall is a great time to get married here. From large venues to small, everything in between, the views and wedding teams can't be beat. One of the newest venues on the scene is Valley View Farm and Venue north of Honesdale. Marion Huntsberger and her team have outdone themselves with the renovations of the old dairy barn on a special piece of rolling hills and fields, including an orchard and an upgraded farmhouse where the wedding party can even stay for the entire weekend. The segment is in the September Pocono Mountains magazine, but we have the full discussion with Marion in just a bit. The Poconos is a year-round destination for millions, with 2,400 square miles of lakes, rivers, mountains, and forests, with iconic family resorts and historic downtowns. It's the perfect getaway. You can always find out more on PoconoMountains.com or watch PTN, the Pocono Television Network, streaming live 24-7. Now, back to the episode. Valley View Farm and Venue is one of a kind. The barn, inside and out, the grounds and farmhouse, garden and views, and more couples are choosing to get married at Valley View or celebrate their anniversary, cementing memories for years to come. Here's our chat with the owner, Marion. Enjoy. Hi, everyone. It's Jim Hamill with Pocono Mountains Podcast, sitting inside on a warm summer's day. But we got some air conditioning inside this old historic barn in northern Wayne County in the beautiful Pocono Mountains that is now a wedding venue. And sitting across from me is Marion Huntsberger. You're the owner of Valley View Farm and Venue. And it's taken a labor of love to get to where you are today. About a year and a half you've been open now. How much pride do you have in this work that you've accomplished? Well, I love it. And what I love the most besides the building and the barn it are the outdoor spaces, the gardens. So I am the landscaper, yeah. the weed picker, <laughs> the planter. And then, of course, I have amazing help. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot to get here, right? This, this barn we're sitting in was at one time deteriorated to a point where it needed some real structural improvements. But you had this vision all along to transform this into something that is, you know, desired by so many brides and grooms and the, the folks who want to come up here and make memories, lasting memories for their lives together, right? Yeah, that that absolutely is the dream. Um, we really saw this as an evolution and ideas came and we implemented them and we had incredible support. Um, with a staff that is unsurpassed um, and just kept falling in love over and over again as we developed each floor yeah. of the property. So run me through then what it took to really get to where you are today. You had to do a lot of backbreaking work um, to uh, make this structurally sufficient, but then right. also too to put the, the finer touches on things too. So what did that all take, I guess, from a like a labor and a planning and execution standpoint? Well, we did it backwards. <laughs> um, we learned a, a great deal. Um, we just kept seeing opportunity. And, um, and as we would try to capitalize on opportunity of the spaces in the building um, and create additional spaces in the building, it was, it, it was difficult. But as we continued forth, we just kept developing that vision that you're talking about, and it ended up being love yeah. at the end of the day. Um, you're not tired. You're satisfied yeah. with everything that you've put into it and eager to do it again tomorrow. So that was uplifting. No doubt. For us. So comprehensively, what do you guys have on property here? 30-some acres with some woods. Um, but certainly, you know, all the amenities for uh, event space like weddings uh, throughout all four yes, seasons. Yes, absolutely. Um, we have um, an orchard with 120 apple, peach, pear trees that are available to our guests seasonally. 
We have uh, about 120 chickens that range in the orchard, so they're happy. Uh, we um, and guests are, are able to use the eggs and things like that as well, especially if they're staying on property. Um, we have the barn. Uh, second floor is our ballroom, and then we have an addition to the barn that encompasses catering kitchen, um, a groom space, um, and a third floor that is very bridal readiness. We hope it makes, you know, brides ooh and ah and want to spend time there. Uh, my husband developed some hiking trails oh, nice. around the property with some fun signage. We're adjacent to Second District Brew Farm. That enables guests on the weekends to be able to go and partake and have fun, get a different view of the property. And we're next door to Calkins Creamery, so we promote their cheese uh, as much as possible because we're in love. Yeah. And um, we just feel like we're situated and in the most perfect of areas to when you arrive until you leave. There's just a lot and that we're really proud of. And you're, you know, really leaning into this fact that you are a farm. You know, you may not have um, cattle or anything like that inside this barn. That was what it was used for. Yes, it was a dairy barn, yes. Right. But this evolution now is kind of translated to something that uh, folks who want to get married are seeking a place like this. And you guys have this this package deal where it's 125 folks, you know, you could fit in this space for... A wedding, which is you know, not a massive wedding by any stretch of the imagination, but it's yeah. right in a lot of wheelhouses for people who are from New York, Philly, wherever, and want to come here to celebrate that once-in-a-lifetime occasion. I couldn't agree more. Um, I think that it allows for a lot of different uh, bride and groom visions to be fulfilled here. And it also gives them the opportunity to reconnect to days gone by, but yet still have modern amenities, you know, to make a day seamless and flawless. That is key because we are kind of, I grew up in Honesdale and this is a stone's throw from Honesdale really, um, but it is out there in the sticks. Yeah. And so <laughs> we what, are. you are, you're off a dirt road, mm -hmm. you know, um, out here in the farmland, but it is offering like the view as, as it exists out here. And it's this pristine, you know, uh, landscape right up here in northern Wayne County where there's farms there's rolling hills mm -hmm. and just the foliage aspects in the fall or the Perfection. winter it is T tell me about the kind of the backdrop that this serves as then from a visual standpoint for everybody and, and just even like the clean air you know that yeah. is well I think that we're still finding out that um, we're kind of a hidden gem um, because we're new and we want to encourage as many people as possible to please come out, check us out, have a look, and enjoy what else there is to um, to partake in around here. Um, the property itself, to me, is heavenly. I, When I first looked at the property with my husband, we came to the top of the driveway, and I said, oh, no, <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to buy this and I'm going to give them whatever they want, <laughs> which is not in my personality. I like to think I'm shrewd, but I guess not. Um, and you could just see the, um, not just the visual beauty, but the serenity and the calm that every season brings on this property. Um, we have phenomenal neighbors and everywhere you look, it's a feast for the eyes. Well, I'm very tickled to be, you know, here uh, having this great access, you know, behind the scenes of what goes on here. Uh, but you guys really are also mission driven on making that, like you said, a seamless experience for the brides, the grooms, the families, because you have the on-site catering, you know, opportunities mm -hmm. for um, reputable caterers. But you also have, you know, the parking all set up. So really, you've thought through a lot of things here. So there isn't much else to do but get married. We welcome them, absolutely. Um, we have one wedding a weekend. And that 
I, we believe really gives families the opportunity to celebrate what should be celebrated, you know, love and lasting commitment and um, the togetherness that a wedding brings. And we're pretty proud of it. Anything else, Marion, that you think is, you know, something that sets you a little bit apart? I know that I've seen certainly other venues that are in barns and they can be rustic at times because that's kind of the nature of, of what they have here. But this combines, I think, what has been a pre-existing structure with a lot of like deep thought and execution, both with as I, I can feel the air conditioning, you know, <laughs> right nice. now in August, uh, you know, certainly warmer days uh, happen in the October or May, but exactly. for all these seasons, you guys have these finer touches, right? Well, we were looking for a way to blend um, the modern and the comfort of modern amenities, especially for something that you're spending a lot of time planning and and a, a lot of money, ultimately, uh, for a celebration. Everyone needs to be comfortable. And when you're going to put 125 people in a room together and they're going to dance the night away and have just a blast, we need AC. So yeah. we overdid AC. We did AC everywhere. So the whole venue will have the uh, the comfort. And we're also looking to enjoy the winter yeah. as well. So plenty of heat. Um, we tried to allow for spaces that would make grooms happy and would make brides happy and they could see the potential of whatever their vision was coming to life here. Um, they could do as little or as much as they want for their celebration weekend. And that I think with blending the modern and the and refined rustic feeling, it culminated in allowing us to stand apart. Marion Hutzberger with Valley View Farm and Venue. Uh, where can people find out more information? You guys have social media, you guys have the website and all, right? We have Instagram, we have a website, and um, at any moment, you know, we are we're responsive and excited to hear from um, our neighbors and people that are further away as well. Thank you so much for joining us on the podcast. And uh, it's a few more years till my daughter is potentially uh, ready, but uh, maybe she'll be eyeing up this place before too long and we'll have more conversations like this about her big day. I'll put it in my calendar. I'll yeah. contact you Sounds and good. we'll be ready. Thank you very much. Pleasure's mine. Valley View Farm and Venue. The segment will be featured on the next Pocono Mountains magazine in September. Find out more about the venue for weddings and other events at PoconoMountains.com. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. We'll have a new episode each week highlighting lots of the fun things you can experience while you're visiting the Poconos. Subscribe and leave a review and or comment on whatever platform you listen. Now you've got the Poconos in the palm of your hand. For places to stay and shop. And stories about the Pocono Mountains. Go to PoconoTelevision.com to download the app and get the information you need for your visit with us. We're back. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. Now for a Pocono Mountains Podcast Extra. A few years back, we also featured two other great wedding venues, Sixth and River in Honesdale and Stroudsmore Country Inn near Stroudsburg. Recently, Sixth and River changed hands and has new ownership. Here's a listen back to that segment from just a few years ago. Enjoy. Ask anyone and they know how important it is to have a special day for their wedding day. And for generations, the Poconos has been providing the backdrop to countless special days. The first thing we did was pick the venue. We knew we wanted to get married up here in the Poconos. Um, so we looked around um, and Stroudsmore, where we're gonna get married is like a one-stop shop, which has been really helpful for me. Chelsea Cotts and her fiance, Tom Greaser, live in Philly and picked Stroudsmore Inn as their wedding venue in September. I like the idea of getting married in like a nice mountain backdrop. Um, I'm, I, love, I love it up here. I like the mountains. I like the environment. I like hiking. 
Not to mention one of the most attractive aspects of Stroudsmoor to this bride and many like her is that Stroudsmoor has everything bridal parties need right here on its 350 acre campus. You know, they have the florist, they have the, they're bringing in entertainment people to meet with us and photographers and videographers and, and such. So um, that's been, you know, I don't have to do any of the, the legwork. We take the couple from one beginning stage to the absolute end stage of the event. Linda Fort and her family have run Stroudsmoor for many years. Many weddings, many cakes, dresses, and I do's. And they'll be assigned an event planner actually who will take them through invitations, um, itinerary, walk them down the aisle and make sure they're married and then get them to the party on time. About 50 miles away, the same kind of nuptial preparation is underway for another young couple, this time in the bride's hometown of Honesdale. And I think the biggest factor is that here, um, everyone genuinely cares about making this a special day for us. Um, so, and a lot of people have really invested in it already. Mary Martin and her fiance, Ryan Moran, had been looking at Chicago for their big day, but Sixth and River, a venue in a historic factory downtown, won them over. Having Six and River come into town, it's it's incredible. Love that small town feel. You walk down the street, everyone knows everyone, and it's just very comforting. And then to think about envisioning yourself having a wedding here, it's, it's amazing. The couple has set a July wedding date and Catherine Brown of Sixth and River is ecstatic to help them celebrate amongst all this brick and beauty. There's something cozy about the space and there's something that even though it's a big, huge room, it still kind of envelops you and we've we've heard people say that without being prompted so i love that <laughs> that makes me happy the former underwear factory was renovated in recent years and now houses other businesses some that help play a big role in wedding days at sixth and river you pick the food you pick the photographer the band um yeah so that's been actually a huge blessing to have people walk in the door and even just the walk down the hallway, which it's kind of dark and industrial, and then it opens up onto the space and they start to envision what their celebration will be and who will be there. And it's it's been incredible. Both Stroudsmoor and Sixth and River, two of many wedding wishes come true in the Pocono Mountains. Want to learn more? Head to PoconoMountains.com and head to the wedding section. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Planning your wedding or special occasion in the Poconos? Find out more on PoconoMountains.com. We hope you enjoyed Pocono Mountains podcast. Please remember to subscribe anywhere podcasts are available. Come visit us in the Pocono Mountains. Plan your trip today. Mm -hmm.